Good morning. Today we're going to work on customizing our check stock or check forms. Also, whether you're using purchases to print check or banking to print check, you're going to essentially be in the same area. So I'm going to click on print checks and then I'm going to click on advanced filters. And when I'm in advanced filters, I'm going to choose uh, the default, a default check stock and account edge that's available. So I'm going to use a three up check stock, which means there's three checks with no apron printing on a sim single piece of paper to keep this simple. So I'm going to use that and then I'm going to also uh, click on customize. And now I have the standard form available uh, to make changes to it. When I've done making my changes, I'm going to typically save the form as something unique. I'll call that Doris. We're just going to do some safety precautions not to overwrite our defaults. And I'm just going to say Doris. And next time I can just overwrite that and save my stock. Uh, what you have up here to the left is your menu bar where you can add fields, uh, create a text field for additional text, add a picture, uh, <clears throat> add a box, um, create lines. And as you go, you're able to reverse your um, mistakes or you may want to go back or what's called the undo. Uh, it also has an ability to go uh, take a field back to front and you'll see this more in use on uh, the check apron or when you're doing custom invoices uh, and front to back the same kind of tool where you need to work on an area uh, that is in the background of, of your uh, of your form so one thing I'll just do quickly is I'm going to add a, a box. I clicked on that once, and now I have a box here. And if I double click, I'm able to load a picture and uh, put a picture of myself in here. And I say OK. I can stretch that picture is, is a way to size it. I may want my logo, for instance, on my check stock in an area, of course, it doesn't overlap uh, existing printing. If I go again in here, I can resize it manually, or I can stretch it to resize it. Another, another thing you can do is you can add additional text boxes or add existing other fields that exist. Um, so you may want to add some additional address information at some point. And you can see that I have a company address. Most well, stock does have, but I can actually add my company address for some reason. It will pull that from my uh, setup company information and place it on the stock. I'm just going to hit the back button, and that actually takes that off. Uh, you may want to add additional lines on your stock, and I can do that just by adding a line. Or I may want to add it up, a rectangular box for some reason. And again, I can change some weighting on, on the lines. So that's uh, creating some check alterations or customizing your form. I'm just going to save my form again as Doris. And it's going to ask if I want to overwrite that. And I'm going to say OK. Um, and again, OK. So when I now look and I'm going to print checks, it's going to show up in my list. Uh, so thank you very much for listening. Have a great day.